video today. In this video, I'll show you how I made a little bit over $9,000 in one trade using advanced micro devices, ticker symbol AMD, using call options. I'll even show you guys the mistake that I did and how I recovered from that mistake. And then we got about a 43% gain, which overall got me about a 9,000 uh, profit. So let's go over it. This was a VIP play. This play was only for VIP. We literally did one trade last week. I repeat, we did one trade last week that did 43%. Okay, one trade, 43% for the week. People probably did about eight trades and didn't even get to 43%. Then I made over nine grand in the week with one trade. Okay, that's why I say VIP, very, very beneficial for you guys. VIP is almost full, actually. So you might want to get your spot because once the VIP is full, it will be closed. First link in the description. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into it. We'll go ahead and go over the signals first, then I'll come back to the chart, show you where I messed up, show you where I got back in at, and then I'll show you the profit. So here you go. Here goes the signal and the VIP. I see the signal, AMD call option signal. Then I give you the date, February 18th, the strike price, the price I paid. 1.99 is you just move the decimal over two times. So it's about $199 what I pay for it. I give you guys the exit. Of course, all option plays are risky. Okay. Now, notice how I sold at a 10% loss. Usually at scalps, I don't like it to go over 10%. So if I feel like it's going to get weaker or I feel like I'm about to lose in the play, I always cut it at 10% or less. I like to keep the losses small. So I did cut it at 10% at 839. Notice how I bought the next trade. I bought the next trade, I think, like 10 minutes after. Because when I did this trade, I should have held on to my gut. I knew it was going to go up. So I did buy again. Okay, same contract. Bought it at 190 So about $9 cheaper than we bought it before. Usually I don't go in again like this unless I'm just 100% confident. And I was. I bought in again. Okay, I said went smaller because it presents more risk. That's what this means. This means presents more risk. Sold half for 11% gain. So already when we sold half, we sold half at 11% gain. That already covered our 10% loss. Okay, already covered our 10% loss. I said holding the other half for more push up. We got that push up. Sold the other 50% AMD call options. Sold it at 2.75. Remember, we bought it at 190. Sold it at 2.75 for a 43% gain. Congrats team and also the target was hit. My target again was about 120. Remember the target price. Target was 120 so overall I got a 43% gain. We covered our losses on the first trade and then if we go to the profits you'll see right here the profits right here. Now on the first trade I lost two grand so remember that first trade I lost two grand and then on the second trade where I show you here is where I sold I had about 150 at that 195 mark so i actually bought higher than uh what i sent out for the signal so i actually sent out the signal first and then i got in so i got in a little bit higher about 150 at 195 dollars and then i had about uh 11 and a half uh gain but remember i lost about two grand from the first trade so it was about nine thousand five hundred uh profit so that was a play that i got off that one and that was the signal so let's go ahead and go back to the chart. Okay, so in the chart, the first play that I had, I actually got call options on this five minute candle right here. And then as it dipped more, I actually sold it for 5% um, loss. It started to go up and then we had pullback. This is when I got confident and I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead again. I knew for sure AMD was gonna go up. So we got call options right here on this candle right here. Dip down a little bit. That was okay. I was willing to hold through this dip down here and then it started turning up. Okay. I think we exited that 10%. I think around here or here. I can't remember the exact time, but somewhere in here we did exit for that 10% to go ahead and mitigate that loss. And then we let it go higher to get about a 43% here. Because if you remember, my target was about 120. 120 was hit. It only went up about like 121 or so. Um, afterwards so target was hit like I tell you guys after target is hit we go ahead and get out so that was a play mistake I had I should have just held on to my gut I knew it was gonna go up that's why I did get in again recovered all those losses and then we got in a profit target of a nice game 
So that was how we made about 43% last week on VIP. I made about 9,500. That's why I say make sure you guys join VIP, VIP. And also in VIP, something new that I will be adding. You know how I give you guys levels on stocks and stuff? There's a section in VIP. It's going to be daily uploads every day only for VIP members. I repeat, only for VIP members. I'll be posting a place that I'll be looking for every day. My specific place that I will be looking for every day will be posted in the VIP section. We have our own little channel in the VIP. So it'll be YouTube's where I post the levels that I'm looking at on very specific stocks that I'm looking to trade that next day. So basically giving you my play that I'm looking to trade the next day in VIP. So make sure you join. We're going crazy. It is going to close once sponsors full. Thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.